welcomed my fellow governors. This is Hades, coming to you from Kingdom 212, and on behalf of my family and king, I welcome all and everyone to come join us over here in 7K. We have such a huge family that it doesn't matter. High level, low level, or even brand new to the game. You're always going to find a spot here to call home. That being said, I'm going to get into the nitty gritty stuff about our family, our kingdom. And if you enjoy and like what you're hearing, then hit up any R4 or even the king himself. Communicate with us so we can get at it. Here is our family. After the big war of Lost Temple, we decided to merge all of our allies together and create one huge family. And we went with the Greek mythology theme. And that's why we are the Temple of the Gods, because we house everybody. And boy, oh boy, is the dinner table crazy at night. Whew. So we ask you, if all this sounds great to you, come down and join Kingdom 212. Now I'm gonna get into more good stuff about our families. Welcome to the Temple of the Gods. Here is our structure and our bio right here. As far as our personal rules with our alliance, not kingdom rules, I will get to that in another section. There are no personal attacks on any family member whatsoever. No racial slurs. Network language violence. What that means is because we are comprised of many and multiple languages, there could tend to be some language barriers or a bad translation in this game. So please don't get angry with your fellow family members. Just simply ask another family if they are around who does speak both languages and try to convey back and forth between them. Next on the list is our family. As you can see, we have a lot. We have a huge family. And if anybody is interested, please contact our glorious leader and king. You may contact any of the R4 members. Anyone here would gladly most happily get you positioned and situated in any of our beautiful families. So don't be afraid, don't hesitate, and remember, Kingdom 212 would love to have you. Alright, in this section, I'm going to go over the one sound kingdom rule that we have put into place. And as I speak upon this rule, I'm going to show you our glorious kingdom and all of the beautiful alliances that have grown with us. 212. Now, the kingdom rule states absolutely no city hitting whatsoever. No excuse. We do this not to take pride away from people because I know that if somebody hits my city, I'm going to hit their city back. The reason why we do this though is because we want this to be a safe place for people to grow, but also have fun during wars and kill events. People put time and energy and some even money into their accounts and their cities. And if you come back from taking a break or whatever, or you're going to sleep and you wake up and you're now zeroed out, that causes, even though this is a game, that causes real life and world feelings and emotions. And in most cases, they hurt. And it doesn't feel good. So we instilled this rule to protect people. And again, it's not to take pride away. A way to deal with this situation is we have constructed an enforcement squad. So the way it works is somebody hits your city. You send and reach out to the enforcement squad and give them the battle reports. They will review. After review, they will reach out to the culprit who committed the crime and basically advise them, hey, you need to pay back all resources taken from the city that you hit, and then depending on the hospital bill, or troops being dead, they may get a surcharge, depending on T1, 2, 3, 4, even 5. Depending on how many units, you might get with a certain surcharge, in addition to what happened. If you refuse to pay back those resources and completely ignore the enforcement squad reaching out to you, giving you that chance to pay back the deed that you have done, you will be zeroed. Yes, it is a very, very, very heavy price to pay for attacking a city. But again, 
we do this because we want peace. We're all about war. Everybody loves war, but we want at least your city and ours as well to be safe. So if you guys can handle that one simple rule, then come on down to Kingdom 212. Because during kill event, oh man, stuff gets out of control, but we all have a hell of a lot of fun. Alright everyone, it's about that time. Hopefully, I provided enough information to you guys that you want to jump over and join our beautiful kingdom. Because it is an awesome kingdom and we do have a lot of fun. And there are events that will be going on in the future. You know, in part of the Lost World and everything else that Lilith decides to give us. That all being said, I hope you guys enjoyed and I want to say thank you for taking the time to watch the video. And before I go, always remember, be strong, stay vigilant.